Here we are at the Canadian Tire Motorsport Park for race number 18 in the Chase Playoff se uh, second playoff race and the second playoff race of the round of 16. After a wild Bristol uh, Motor Speedway race, Marcus Atachi, well, of course he's the points here entering this race, but it doesn't matter because he's already advanced to the next round. Travis Chapman in the 51 starting on the pole. Drivers, start your and there's the race command. So our one and only road course race of the season. And it uh, also our first and only international race of the season. Currently out of the top 10 is Trey Wright, Jake Jarrison, Joe Jarrison, Tim Randolph, Tony Green, and Josh Cagle. Here we go. All but two drivers have uh, made position sh uh, gains or losses. And the green flag's out. Here we go. We're underway here at CTMP. Into the first corner, Chapman able to take advantage having the preferred line. Marcus Asachi, could he get another? He might. Start second, Brad Cheston. We all know him. He's fifth entering this race. Alright, here they go. Turn seven and eight, I believe. It goes to 54. He made it through. Three wide back there. That's where all the passing happens. That's where all the, it sets up everything for the finishes in. And the wrecks. The rest of the course, past the start finish line, is pretty much nothing for the most part. So first stop appears to be lit up to green and yep, able to make it to the line. And I hear crashing behind, but no lights. No lights, I don't see any lights. 24 and 98, two playoff contenders. Yeah, they're out of the track. Yeah, this is going to be bad. They're actually able to sneak through that little opening. That opening is so small and somehow it's happened so many times. I don't even know how it happens. But those two guys are stuck pretty much. There's no way out. Unless they turn around. Or go uh, across. I can't throw the yellow because I need to save it for the stage. Oh, I hear more uh, trucks wrecking, crashing into each other. Oh, there they go. Okay, they're able to get out. And the caution flags out. Race it back to the line. We'll take a look at both wrecks. Here they come to the caution flag. It will be the 51 at the line. Caution is out. Caution is out. We'll take a look at the replay. Orius in the 87 truck in his final season really wants to get the season over with, not the season he wants. He, uh, Ryan Butcher in the 22 gets into him and straight for the wall. He went hard and also collects Jacob Davison in the 25. Just a bad season, except for those few uh, regular season races. He somehow found some speed, but it wasn't enough. Butcher made a move to the inside, got him, got him into him twice, second time, got him around. Both trucks spin out, Jacob Davison losing a couple spots because of that. Davison is currently 10th right on the line. And uh, let's take a look what happened to Tony Green and Noodles a lot before. So Tony Green and the 98 and Noodles 
Little bump, little bump. And then he dumped him. Yeah, they found their way in that little opening. Oh, and he hits the uh, driver's uh, side with the wall. Hard hit for the 24, and the smoke disappeared. Usually when that happens, is usually the, the engine is shut off. Gets into the wall with the nose, but then he just gets hit. Guy hits the wall, and then he gets uh, hit, hit again by the 98. So, you know, at least they weren't stuck. They stopped their trucks, went back to pit road. But, yeah. There you go. First caution of the day, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, lights are out, getting ready for the green. A full pace laps here today. And uh, Celius Wolf was running in fourth. Well, it says accidents, but I saw him go up in smoke. Wolf, who was having a good run on Bristol, almost got the win. After getting taken out by, I guess, a desperate playoff driver who was trying to get in to the next round. Chapman in the 51 was one of the two drivers who did not gain or lose any spots after Bristol. The other one is uh, Josh Cage who is currently last, 16th. Here we go. Green flag, back underway. Brad Chesson on his tail. What I thought was a KBM truck, it's uh, not. Team points is also, um, also there's also playoffs for teams, I guess. And look at Brad Chesson on his back bumper, looking for the race lead. Got the one win at Charlotte after getting by the 98, the last lap pass. But he overcooks the corner and Marcus gets into him and he spins. But that everyone ends up checking up. Everyone going to the grass. Everyone's going so slow they all, but they're all able to get on the brakes. Uh, no yellow, so huge, huge lead for the 51. On cruise control. Save your stuff. Marcus, the second place. Brad only lost one spot, but now I can pass by Hyder in the 41. Trey Wright in the 15. The Kentucky winner. Up there in the top 10. He's just one spot out as of now. How many points is behind? Five. I heard some crashing. And yeah, caution's out, caution's out. Oh, so much for that big lead. 3.1 seconds he had. But it looks like he'll win the stage though. He will win the stage. Give me a second. So I'll fight for a second. Try to lose another spot. A little side by side with Al Lagasy. Which I don't think is maybe the last position. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't think so. I think it's uh, Ryan Hannigan. He's battled Jake Jefferson for ninth. Alright, here they come to the yellow flag. It will be the 51 truck once again. So far, he's made no mistakes. No mistakes at all. And there's the first second caution of the day. We'll take you take a look at the replay. Adam McDowell, Tim Randolph, right off the last corner, like turn 13. He gets into him and hits the wall, and yeah, that uh, happened. I guess the truck creator forgot to fill it in, and Adam McDowell he gets tipped over, and he goes upside down. Chris Kyle gets a piece of that. Uh, Brad Lewis, lots of damage on that hood. McDowell was twirling around so much, just destroyed the truck. We usually don't, don't uh, get flips at the, whoops, at the CTMP. But Adam McDowell is one of the rare ones that... Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Well, right on board with Brad Lewis in the 45. Derek Hamill got a piece as well. 
but able to make it through. A slow roll and then got a little of assistance by the 21 to get that truck over. So truck upside down, first of today, first of the race. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, I forgot the stage results, so Travis Chapman, your stage winner. If he makes it to the next round, that's one extra point for him. Marcus Attachi second, Hyder third, Greg Graf fourth, Brad, L uh, Brad Chestnut fifth, Hans Levi sixth, uh, seventh is Al Agassi, Trey Wright is eighth, Jay Jefferson ninth at Hannigan, and a 63 gets the final point. Okay, so now we'll skip you to the restart. Lights are out, getting ready for the green. Travis Chapman, one of the dark horses, well, pretty much everyone almost is a dark horse, except for probably Marcus, Noodles, Mew, Cheston. Those are the four favorites. Fifth favorite, I don't know. They're all in the top five in points, and they all perform extremely well this season. Green flag. Well, maybe not Mew, as he almost lost it. Got two wins early in the season, but that was it. But thanks to this playoff format, he has a chance at a championship. No one has ever defended their championship. Usually their second season is just really poor after winning it. But Marcus Attachi could be the first. But not only the first to defend, but of course the first to get two championships in one series. Of course, other drivers have won championships in different series, but never in the same series. And never two in a row, never back to back. He could be the first in a much, much better season this season. He won the Robo race at Pensacola, and that's all he had to show for till the playoffs started. And he was one of the drivers. He just made it in. Was right on the line. Curly chasing down the 51, trying to make his job harder. Try to steal a win. And that'll be more bonus points for him entering the next round. There he comes, hunting down that 51 truck. He's too able to get away from the field. I don't think- oh, shit. I don't think anyone has won four races in the truck series yet. Once again, Marcus Satchi, he could be the first to do so. Road courses are very, extremely more unpredictable than you. I think it's more unpredictable than the uh, Super Speedway. Maybe. Drives it in there really hard, but gets on the brakes. The 51, a Chapman gets in the grass just a bit on the rumble strips. That's going to give the 97 a slight advantage. Didn't lose too much speed. He's still with him. Just a lot closer. Hans Device, Alexander Hyder, Al Legacy trying to chase these two down. Hopefully it stays green for the rest of the way. Be a great battle here. Seen some crazy finishes here before. Crazy last lap passes and all that stuff. One of the favorite tracks. One of the Watkins Glen, of course, is the most uh, favorited. Six laps to go. Long way, though. The long, long way. Uh, Marcus lost some ground during turn one. Either he's backing off, or 51 is just a lot faster than him. Chapman won the Iowa race. Currently, four top fives and five top tens. I think it was mid-pack before the playoffs started. Yeah, it's around there. Overall, a okay season. If we had no playoffs, but right now he's in a perfect position. Marcus in there hard. And now he's in the grass. And he'll lose ground to the 51. Our next race, the elimination race for the round of 16, will be at New Hampshire. The round of 10 will start at Talladega. 
followed by Darlington ISM and of course Homestead Miami Speedway and uh, Marcus Atachi has some company on Z-Vice in the 50 has caught up with him 1.2 seconds or about 1.3 seconds behind if you want to round it 5 laps remaining well there's no reason for the 97 to push it of course you still want to go for wins you still want to go for those extra juicy points but uh, he doesn't have to worry too much as Hans Device is looking for second place. Chevron has only made one slight mistake, but that didn't even cost him anything, and then 97 gets on the grass a bit, but maintains second. A dominating performance by the 51. Our bottom five of the points standing, Celius Wolf in the 66, who has scored zero wins, zero top fives, and zero top tens. He almost got his first top three finish at Bristol. Four laps remaining. I guess we do need that caution after all. I thought they're going to have a great battle for the race lead, and if we get a caution, it ruins it. Because it's all going to be a matter to the restart. Or maybe not. But usually. Uh, that's usually not the case. It's sometimes the case. To 51, second place. Hans Device. He was pretty much hanging around top 30 for the entire season. Just a, just a horrible, horrible season for the 50 team. He's the only one. Right now, I'm not the only one. Uh, I meant to say he's the lowest score driver with the top 5 finish. Two of them. And also, well, Alexander Rowe has two top, uh, two top tens. He's the lowest score with that. And Aaron Carlson, Aaron Carlson in the Skittle series, I thought he had the worst season ever, scoring only one single top ten that entire season. Twenty races and only one top ten. Uh, Kalen T as well, uh, teammates. So it's two of the Stuart Haas trucks, uh, cars, just. Uh, Performed horribly that season. But Celius Wolf, well, there's still races left. And here comes Hans Zeweiss for second place. Two second lead for the 51 truck now. What a great run by the 51 team. They really brought their stuff, sat on the pole, so far led every single lap. I'm looking to get the, got the stage win and looking to get the race win as well. Not a typical race here at CTMP, usually it's more action packed, but it looks like today is not the case. Well, that usually happens at road courses. Road courses are mixed. They're not oval races where it's uh, usually crazy or crazy but controlled or, or either crazy as in insane. Like, uh, like Bristol was, was insane. But, uh, but Kentucky was more like, uh, it was still a good race, but they're most of them are under control. No crazy move, no one dive bombing into the corner, causing a massive wreck. Nothing like that. Oh, and look at that! Oh, we got a caution! Oh, we're gonna go to overtime for the second race in a row. Oh boy. Road course rules though. Road course rules. Wait, did I, did I change that? No, I don't think so. Oh, the caution. He did not want to see that. He did not want to see that. Okay, yeah. Road course. Okay, never mind. Road course rule still applies. Oh, with two laps to go. A two and a half second lead. And Travis Chapman lead. Vanish. And you know they're going to go crazy. They're going to go gonna go even more crazier because you only got one lap to do it one lap so one single attempt and one attempt only all right so we'll see take a look at the replay see what happened Max Anderson and Stepan Oaks two drivers who missed the playoffs by a couple of points 
So he tried to get back on the track, but Joe Jefferson was there. He didn't let him in. So he pretty much took himself out. Did not want to see on the grass on those positions. So he tried to force his way through, and Jefferson not allowing it. Why would he? Especially in the playoffs. So only a two truck, very minor wreck, and they throw the yellow for that. Okay, the officials are going to get shit for that. Because such a s small wreck. And they throw the yellow out for that. I'm pretty sure nothing else happened, right? Let's go through the field. Yeah, nothing else happened. That's that's the caution right there. Alright, we'll see the results of the line. Then we'll take a look. Then they will take you to overtime. So there will be 24 trucks restarting. Jeff Preston will be parked. Which really wouldn't really matter because he would have finished 25th anyways. So those are the uh, well, official results for 25th through 33rd. But the other 24 trucks have a, another chance to get a win. Although, most likely anyone from the top 5, or who knows. It could, all, it could be like Bristol again. But even wackier, or crazier. Alright, so Chapman will lead. We'll take you to overtime. Road course rules. Yeah, so... So, here we go. Overtime for the second race in a row. Two playoff races. An overtime finish. Is it going to be just like Bristol? Maybe. Or will it be well, over the 51 get off to a good restart? And win it. Or will someone else win it? It's going to be crazy. Last chance. We see Trey Wright. He's the third highest player of driver as of now if all those guys wreck or he somehow sneaks his way through able to punch his ticket to the next round pace trucks in here we go green and white will be displayed at the same time only one single attempt green flag is out we're back underway one lap to go. Into turn one, Chapman gets through. Hans Device. Device, he's also clear. Al Lagasy in the 20, finish second at Bristol. Could he get that one back? Could he steal the win? Marcus Attachi in third. Could he steal the win? Can anyone steal the win away from the 51? If anyone but the 51 wins, it's the wind stolen. Watch out for those two corners, you know it. Here they come, hard on the brakes. The contact, three wide back there. Trey right in the sand. Good, great run by the 51 truck. Everyone bunched up, scrambling everywhere. Chapman's gonna do it. This is his race. And he'll advance to the next round. Final few corners, here they come. Checkered flag is out. Second win of the season. And advance to the round of 10. Travis Chapman wins it at CTMP. Jake Jefferson moving around with his truck. Almost probably would have one of the trucks that crashed. And oh, another two, another two playoff drivers get trapped. Ten and thirty-three. All right, let's take a look at the four race results first. Ah, damn it! I overridden the replay. But uh, yep, Travis uh, Chapman he wins it. Marcus Attachi second. Hans Weiss third. Alexander Higher fourth. Greg Graf fifth. Jeffrey Fitzwater Senior six. Al Legacy seven. Jacob Davis and eight. Josh Cagel 9th and Brad Cheston 10th. And now let's take a look at the wrecks at the end. So, here's a Jay Jefferson in the 13. They all jam up. He gets a little bump from Cody Locke. That goes, that forces him all the way off course and gets into the tiebreaker very slightly though. Because he was stuck and he had to get towed back. And look at them all in the grass. Tim Randolph, Cody Locke, Stephen Oaks. Now let's, see. now let's fast forward here, or just do this. Chris Kyle, Derek Hamill, another two. They all go sailing off, off the course. 
One bump. Two bumps. Or, no, that was the second bump. Where it ends up turning. Derek Hamill. And just like the 98 and the 24. They go into the opening. So, that is it here. Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. The 51 chairman has won it. He advances to the next round and went out to get a victory lane.